Bitcoin is back over $40,000 for the first time in two weeks. Damn, has it really only been two weeks? It honestly has felt like an eternity down here. So Bitcoin today has had a huge green candle up over 8% on the day. And as you guys can see, this has officially put us on breakout watch out of this falling wedge that we have been following and watching now for the last couple weeks. If we zoom out here, you guys can see the pattern that we've been following here. So what exactly does this mean for Bitcoin and crypto overall going forward? As you guys can see, when crypto moves, everything moves in the green. What can we expect from here? What level should we be watching? I'll be answering all of those questions for you guys. And of course, sharing some of my favorite trade setups that I will be watching this weekend. Let's jump right in. Hey, what's up, Jay here, and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials, and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys, the community with the knowledge and resources to help you take your wealth up to that next level. So if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and of course, guys, smash that like button. Let's try to get this video with over 100 likes. If you have any questions about anything, drop it in the comments. Let's jump into today's video. All right, guys, so diving right in to today's move here, as you guys can see, it has been a huge candle here. If we close above $40,000, then this is officially a breakout at that point. We of course just need to stay above those levels. As you can see, this was a huge resistance level that we've been stuck under for quite some time, taking us all the way back to November. So this is a big move for us to reverse back up and get back to some of the higher levels. This is a very, very important first step. So the next level that we're watching here is of course remember the big support that we had from the start of this rally that was holding our rally together well now that's going to be the next resistance level and currently that's sitting right around forty two thousand dollars now why is that a big level well also because 42,000 was a previous all-time high 42,000 has held as support many times it's also acted as resistance many times anytime we've got rejected by it we've dropped a lot or when we've broken through that $42,000 area we've run up a lot so that should tell you some of the reasons why 42,000 is going to be a big line in the sand if we pull up the weekly chart here and we pull up the volume shelves, you can see this big gap right here that we should be able to fill once we break above 42. So that would pretty much take us to this very next Fibonacci level right here, which is currently sitting around $44,000, $45,000. So if we look at the order book, I'm looking for sell walls. There's really not any big sell walls here. You can see at 41,000, it's pretty much the biggest sell wall I see here. Not even a 42,000. It's a very, very small sell orders currently in the books right now. So, the, so it looks like the biggest one is is $41,000. Um, it's actually at 40750 Looks like it's currently the biggest sell walls there. So now the next important level, once we get above 42, let's say we get, we reach $45,000. Um, that's obviously an important level, but what's going to be a more important level for us to be able to regain our momentum back to the upside, I think is this 50 week moving average right here. Remember that we spoke about how the 50 week moving average has held up the entire bull run together. Well, we lost it when we had the big drop back in uh, in January. We lost it after using it as support for what? Like one, two, three, four, five weeks. So five weeks in a row, we used it as support before completely losing it there. So that would be a big step. And that's currently sitting around $48,000, which of course, $48,000 is another important level. And that would basically take us back to what I would think would be the next Fibonacci level, which is up here which currently sits around that $53,000, $54,000 area. So again, 
We're still very far off of that. Today was the first step in the right direction, finally getting a break above this resistance line that has been basically uh, just shoving us down over and over and over again. So the next step is of course breaking through this little section right here, which should take us up to around that $45,000 area and then the 50 week moving average. So if you didn't see this coming, I don't know what to tell you. We've been telling you guys the market has been hinting at a move up. Remember we had the falling wedge, which is a reversal pattern. We had the hidden bullish divergence, which is a reversal pattern. And of course we've been telling you guys since this huge drop, when we went into the oversold territory, we told you guys anytime that the daily RSI goes into oversold, historically, it has always bounced and gone back up from there. So a rally was inevitable. Whether it's a dead cat bounce, a relief rally, doesn't matter. The fact is that a rally to the upside, a bounce to the upside needed to happen. And that's what we're currently seeing right now. So let's go ahead and now jump into some of my favorite trades that I will be watching over the weekend to try to make some profits. But before we do that, guys, don't forget to smash the like button on this video if you're enjoying it. Let's try to get this video up to 100 likes. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you're notified every time we put up a new video. We crossed over 14,000 subscribers today. Thank you guys so much. And if you missed it, we got our Instagram page back. Thanks to everyone who supported us throughout these difficult times. I appreciate you guys. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look here at some of my favorite trade setups that I will be watching over the weekend. So the first one is going to be probably $40,000. If prices come anywhere close to $40,000, I'm trying to enter as close as possible for a long position. Usually bounce back entries is what I prefer. So if we see prices drop back below 40,000 and then pop back over it, that's where I'm looking to enter a long trade at 40K. If we don't revisit those prices and instead we continue upwards, then my next entry that I'm going to be watching is above 42,000. 42,000 is of course in line with this previous support that we had here that will now be a resistance. We also have the 50 day moving average not far behind. So I'm going to keep my positions rather small, my risk rather rather small here because there's just so much going on here. You have all of this going on. And once you finally think you're free and you've broken through all of that, then you have a Fibonacci level right here. That's going to also act as a resistance. You have $45,000, which is a whole number. It's halfway to 50 from 40. So again, it's going to be play resistance there. So again, guys, I'll be playing 42, but keeping my risk between one to 2%. And if you're looking for an Ethereum trade, then the Ethereum trade that I'm watching for is $3,000 on a pop-up above 3,000. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I like that big whole number and that could take us up to around $3,200, I think, if we could get that break. Also, we need to get that breakout from these this resistance that we kept having here that's kept pushing us down. That would be around here which currently also sits around that $3,000 area. So that's what I'm looking for in Ethereum. That's it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to smash the like button. We're trying to get 100 likes on this video. If you have any questions about anything that we covered today, drop it in the comments. Also, if you reached this point in the video, let me know that you did in the comments as well. The engagement helps us a ton with getting our channel out to more and more people. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe turn on notifications. And other than that, guys, have a great weekend. Happy Friday. Happy 40K for Bitcoin. I will see you guys on the next one. As always, peace and love.